Canadian Super Committee. Thank you for your great power and divine understanding of all things. Thank you for all the prophets Go and pops. apostles who have gone before the land. So as you can see, ah, rain and more rain. This is day two of convocation and this is about 2.45 after 3 p.m. And so we are on our way to the convention center in Montego Bay for our 22nd holy convocation all right and yeah this is what we start our day with rain all right so we're now in St. so beautiful. At this point the police were doing their duties yeah as there was an event taking place right here yeah beautiful Jamaica at least this aspect of Jamaica hmm. At this point, I think it was about 5.30 to 6, right? So the sun was setting and I had the opportunity to just capture some of those moments, which is very beautiful as you can see. Yeah. So, yeah, we journeyed and journeyed and journeyed and journeyed and journeyed and journeyed some more you know as we were coming all the way from clarendon so we had to travel every single day so this is day two and yeah we're almost there all right we're almost there so this is it Montego Bay Convention Center, day two of our 22nd Holy Convocation, First Church, Jamaica. Welcome everybody, stay tuned and enjoy and be blessed.
and otherwise than that, everything becomes ritualistic. All right, so to watch the complete message on YouTube of Pastor Gina Jennings preaching on day two of our convocation, please go to First Church Truth of God broadcast. Thank you. Just here reflecting and I am just thankful unto God for our leader, teacher, guide and the general overseer, Pastor Gina Jennings. I am truly privileged to know that I was in his presence, you know, on the second day of our convocation. It is always a blessing to have him here in Jamaica and to be able to be where he is, you know, to hear him firsthand preaching and teaching the words of God unto the people you know and it has allowed me to know how privileged I am I've said that before but I don't want to know the truth and I, and I don't want to be in holiness and end up in hell because I am inexcusable I have been taught so much to the point where as I am the one now that needs to examine self and see where I am with God because I need to have that personal relationship with him you nor anybody else can't make it into the kingdom for me or can't put me into the kingdom. God has to do that. And because of that, you know, I am so thankful for the words of God that has been preached and has been taught on a weekly basis there are so many messages on youtube of our teacher leader preaching and teaching the words of god so we don't have any i personally don't have any excuse and i just want to give god thanks and praise you know just waking up in the morning and you know feeling fresh with life Knowing that the hair that I breathe, it doesn't belong to me. You know, God lend it to me, lendeth me his breath. For me to worship him, for me to serve him, for me to glorify him. All praise and honor belongs to him. And so, I just want to continue to strive to live a holy life pleasing unto God so that I can make it into the first resurrection so that I can escape hell. Never a time I name 